Okay, so in this problem, we have to find the limit as x approaches infinity. So the easiest way to do this problem is to realize that in the numerator, we have a polynomial, and this is cubic. And in the denominator, we have an exponential function. So when x gets really, 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 really big, the exponential function on the bottom grows faster than the polynomial up top. So because the growth rate on the bottom is bigger than the growth rate on the top, this fraction gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and it gets closer and closer to zero. So we can say that the limit is equal to zero. And that's it. So whenever you have an exponential on the bottom and any type of polynomial on the top, the answer is automatically zero because the growth rate of exponentials is faster. So for example, say you had something like this. Say, let's mix it up. Say you had x to the 20 plus x to the 19 plus 2020, which is the current year, over, say you just have e to the x. Same thing, right? Because the exponentials on the bottom, it grows faster than this polynomial up top, no matter what exponent you put here. So this is always going to be zero. So that's the easiest way to do the problem, is just to look at it intuitively and realize that exponential functions grow faster than polynomial functions. You could show the work using L'Hopital's rule, but you'd have to use it about three times, and it's not really necessary. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.